you like the academic situation here at the University of Tampa? There's small classes, I know, uh, but what do you like uh, especially about the school? Hello and welcome to the University of Tampa. Today we are going to take you on a little tour guide of our school and our soccer program. We hope you enjoy. Here at the University of Tampa, we try to incorporate the very best of academic skills with our soccer team. Uh, we have an overall grade point average of 3.5 on our soccer team. Uh, all our team goes through a great deal of studying. Uh, they study on their trips. We have study halls available for our soccer players here on campus. Uh, whenever they need help, they're able to go to their teachers and, and get help with their subjects. Welcome to Pepinrude Stadium and Spartan Mania. I said, well, this is the group that can do it. Uh, but I think this year we have uh, seven seniors on the team. Uh, we're going to be losing a lot of players. It'll be a rebuilding year for us next year. I think if, if there were ever a time when we could win it, we have the experience to do it this year. For the eighth year in a row, UT head coach Tom Fitzgerald will guide his Spartans into the NCAA Division II tournament. At 12-2, and two, the Spartans are ranked fifth in the nation, looking to be number one. We're looking forward to going there and winning it. Uh, we need to win it and uh, to get people back thinking about the University of Tampa and our soccer program. We're looking forward to it. I'm optimistic about this year. I mean, we went out early last year and we had real high hopes, so we're just taking it one step at a time. And I mean, we're all together, and I feel this is, you know, we're more of a family this year, and I think we can do it. Five times in eight years, the Spartans have won the Sunshine State Conference Championship. This year, the defense has allowed just 14 goals, while the offense has ripped the nets 48 times. The team unity is a lot better. I think defensively and offensively, along with the midfield, everyone's just playing well right now. If you don't enjoy the game, uh, it's very difficult to go out every day through the rigorous routine of training and playing games. So we try and enjoy the game, and, and all the guys do very well academically in school, and I think that, that helps our enthusiasm. It was 1992 when the Spartans last came close to an NCAA title. They lost to Southern Connecticut in the finals. But this Saturday night at Pepin Root Field, the door will swing open again when the Spartans host Florida Tech in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. We're optimistic, but we're cautiously optimistic. We're looking each game at a time. It's important for us to win one game at a time, and that's what we're going to do. With the Spartans in Tampa, I'm Jerry Johnson, 10 News Sports. And welcome back to First Sports. We're with Tom Fitzgerald. He's the head soccer coach at the University of Tampa. He's been the head coach. This is his eighth season. This is also the eighth season you're in the NCAA tournament. I know it has to do a lot to do with good coaching, but uh, why such success there at Tampa? Well, I think it's a combination of good uh, American players here from the Tampa Bay area and also our, our influx of uh, blend of good international players as well. And they seem to work real well together. 
Let's talk more about the players. Guys, go ahead and roll the tape, and uh, you can talk about some of these guys for us. As you mentioned, a lot of local talent. Uh, this is Adrian Bush, our uh, captain of our team, second leading scorer. Adrian's a four-year senior and will be graduating after this year's over. Uh, Martin Abrelius. Martin's uh, one of our Swedish uh, players, and uh, he's also a senior and leading scorer on the team and uh, carries about a 3.5 GPA. Uh, David Winner, our goalkeeper, one of the top ten goalkeepers in the country in Division II. So how are, how, do you, how are you getting all these foreign players to come play at the University of Tampa? Well, we've always had foreign players, uh, particularly Swedish players, in our program. Uh, they started coming back in 1978, started with Peter Johansson, who uh, up until this year, just recently, uh, all of his scoring records have been broken by Adrian and Martin. Uh, his assist record by Martin, his scoring record by, uh, by Adrian. And uh, since then, it's just, uh, you know, they, they get, the word gets around and they, they come on their own. So it's been good. Game left on the UT soccer schedule, and it was a granddaddy tonight. Oakland University, the opponent for the NCAA Division II national title. Here it is, 618 left to go, overtime period. Martin Abrelius scores for UT. Ladies and gentlemen, the University of Tampa is the new NCAA Division II champion. They go on to beat Oakland U tonight. The final there, three zip. <laughs> Gerald and the Tampa Spartans went after the ring tonight. The Division II soccer championship playing at home against Oakland University of Michigan, the Pioneers. The Spartans won that marathon match on Thursday. It was scoreless when they had a great chance here. The cross by Adrian Bush, but the goalkeeper comes out to knock it down. Still scoreless second half, UT in overtime. Martin Abrilius on the rebound. He gets it. In overtime, that makes it 1-0. They scored two more, and Tom Fitzgerald and the Spartans have their ring. They are champions. They won it tonight. The final Tampa 3, Oakland University, nothing. Saw a pretty good game. Actually, it was scoreless after regulation, but then the Spartans cooked. Six minutes left in OT. Martin Abrilia scored the first of his two on the night. And then the former Hillsboro High star, Adrian Bush. Uh, Bush in his final game as a Spartan added one more. Final three to nothing, Tampa over Oakland, Tampa's second national title. First, though, for head coach Tom Fitzgerald. 